eventually, the youngster gets a wake-up call. At last, the Kung Fu killer's hunting instincts are aroused. Most predators leave the bad-tasting ladybug alone, but mantises aren't that fussy, although even they don't usually eat the wings. They have been known to tackle a second victim while still holding the first. But that's a bit advanced for a beginner. The mantis is programmed to hunt any creature up to around one and a half times its own size. It chooses a meal according to its appetite. The hungrier the mantis, the bigger the target it's prepared to attack. This one looks a bit on the puny side. But the art of the assassin can't be rushed. The mantis doesn't need to kill its prey. Once it's got a grip, it simply starts to eat head first. Enemies come in all shapes and sizes. Every young mantis must learn the golden rules of Kung Fu defense. Never take your eye off the opponent. Perhaps the most important rule of all, remember to watch your back. This green giant can grow to up to 15 centimeters long. The velociraptor of the insect world will stop at almost nothing to satisfy its appetite. Snakes, lizards, turtles, birds, even small mammals have been known to end up in this spiky embrace. there are fewer enemies about, and that's when mantises do most of their flying. But they don't have the night sky all to themselves. The bat is a mantis hunter. The mantis can't use sound to see in the dark. But it can hear an enemy coming thanks to a unique bugging device. Between its legs is a single ear tuned to exactly the frequency of the bat's calls. At 
the last split second, the Mantis dives, dropping out of the line of fire. In this dogfight, the Mantis is top gun. In the Arabian desert, the pace of life is slower, but death can be just as quick. With few plants, insect life is scarce, so insect eaters need to be extra resourceful. Out here, camouflage is vital, and there's not much cover. There are eyes everywhere. The veiled chameleon specializes in eating insects. And who's heard of Kung Fu out here? The chameleon's approach is stealthy. It's camouflage, perfect. The mantis is oblivious. Only a miracle can save it now. Or a camel, right on cue. Insect eater legs it, and the mantis lives to fight another day. Of course, there are simpler methods of self defense, such as not being seen in the first place. This praying pose is a way of hiding its weapons. According to a Muslim myth, the mantis always prays facing Mecca. Mantis is a Greek word for prophet, and it does have a supernatural reputation. Europeans believe the mantis points lost children home, while in Africa it's rumored to raise the dead. Camouflage is the classic mantis defense. This midget mimics a wasp, and who would spot the bark mantis until it moves? From one of the smallest of mantis disguises to one of the biggest. The fearsome dead leaf mantis takes its masquerade to incredible lengths. Its leafy armor.